Wow, this is absolutely incredible. I'm just really hoping that no bats fly out at me. Something I will be missing about Poland is Żabka. These little convenience stores that are on every single corner here in Poland. It's really hard to miss them. And they have hot dog. <laughs> Hot dogs here are so good. It's kielbasa. It's Polish sausage. And these are five zloty. And just to put that in perspective, that is a dollar, right? Or a little over a dollar, like a dollar ten. If you go to the US with a dollar and ten cents and try to find a quality hot dog, good luck. What really sets these hot dogs apart is the toasted bun. They toast it right before you. They'll drizzle whatever type of sauce you want in it on the top of it and then stuff the hot dog in the bun. So every bite has a perfect balance of sauce, bread, and hot dog. They're so good. So good. A Zhavka hot dog is a fantastic snack on the go. It'll definitely get us over to lunch. But right now we want to check out a coffee shop that we've had on our list since day number one in Gdansk. The final bill at Drukarnia Cafe comes out to 34 Polish Slotty, which is actually almost exactly $7. That's actually really expensive. That's more of like a, something we'd be used to in Germany or Austria, $3.50 for a coffee. You definitely pay for atmosphere and we're here on Mariaka Street, which is the jewelry shopping area. We should have known what to expect, but I do think we'll find some better prices when we go to lunch. A visit to the World War II Museum here in Gdansk can really only be described in one word, intense. There is a lot of information down there. This is gonna take you a good two hours. We were down there for two and a half hours without even realizing it. There's so much to take in. A lot of it very heavy, obviously, with Poland so in the middle of this conflict and so affected by it from basically all directions.
it's obviously heartbreaking, but it's very important information to take in, which we felt the same way when we were down in Auschwitz. These experiences are tough sometimes. We feel kind of drained emotionally after going through there, but the collection of information in a place that was so integral to this conflict, it really is a special experience. A ticket costs 25 zloty, which comes out to a little bit over $5 US. Absolutely worth it, no question about it. Just make sure you plan enough time because it is a lot of information to take in. We ended up getting a tad carried away at the Pirogarnia. Very hard not to considering the amount of options they had. This is our last chance to get pierogies here in Poland, so we really went all out. We tried three different kinds. We also got two classes of compote, which is their drink here. We mostly get those at the milk bar. This honestly may end up being one of those days where you eat so much in the middle of the day that you don't end up eating dinner, which is gonna make it even more affordable as we're counting our zlatis. So, the total Zlati count for the Pirogarnia was 237. And keep in mind, this is three different types of pierogies. We got a really nice drink and we got a dessert. And 237 Zlati converts to around $48 US, so $24 a person. Again, considering the quality of food and how much food we got, pretty good price. And we're definitely happy. That might be our one big meal of the day. And that will officially wrap up our time, not just in the beautiful city of Gdansk, but the amazing country of Poland. We have loved our time here and we are absolutely coming back. If you are watching from Poland or if you've been to Poland, let us know in the comment section, what city do we have to visit next? Do we have to go to Warsaw? Do we have to go to Lodz? We know that there's a lot here and we wanna check out more next time we're here. So definitely leave that in the comment section below. As always, a like and a sub goes a long way. We really appreciate it if you do have the time buttons are just right down there. We hope you enjoyed our Poland series. We absolutely enjoyed putting it together for you. This is a very bittersweet feeling. I'm gonna take my last look at Gdansk.